Okay, so this is a formula we use, and the reason we're using this formula uh, with the 0.25 here as a second factor is because we do not know anything about P or Q. So I guess the worst part about this problem is finding your Z value, and it tells me that your confidence level is 99%. So one minus 0.99 is 0 0.01, that means you got 0 0.01 area in the tails, if you sum up the area. But in the formula, we wanna find Z sub alpha over two. So we need to take 0 0.01 and divide that by two because you wanna know just about one tail. And that gives you 0 0.005. And this 0 0.005 is the area in the table. It's the, it's the part in the table. So you need to either use the normal distribution table or use stat crunch to find, figure out what z corresponds to an area or probability of 0 0.005 and that is 2.58 and if you do not understand how to find that i think there's some videos for it i'll be happy to uh, make one for you but i need to know if you're using stat crunch or technology or the table itself so just plug in the numbers that you know this is be 2.58 squared times 0.25, and the error, error of the problem, margin of error is 0.03, so that's just 0 0.03 squared, and I used my calculator, and I got 1849.